Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So we finally concluded on the age wear contest that was going on, uh, basically from the summer until the early fall. Well, it's it's over. I'm so happy to have so many great entries that submitted. Um, overall, a fantastic event that a lot of people were participating in. Uh, so to everyone who has uh, participated or at least attempted or participated in some kind of way, uh, thank you for all the efforts and just like the input that you put into the contest, whether it's promoting it or just submitting your entries. But thank you all. Now the whole basis of the contest was essentially make a original type of design uh, that is non-canon to the age universe. So basically just uh, promoting something that's age mixed with a little bit of kit bashing. It's a perfect combination of uh, things that you can do because that kind of means it's almost endless. It's just that you have the core age uh, torso usually that you have to utilize. But so many fantastic entries and I can't wait to get into them. And I also built a kit just alongside the uh, contest. I didn't actually enter, I was just you know building for the fun of it. And I just made my own little creation, I love it. It's kind of like a little play off of the Sorta, but um, it's basically like a more of a knight style. So really love it, I, I, I had a blast just painting and building this kit. It was a pain to kind of get a, little, a, a few of the parts to actually um, work in a way that would function much like the shoulders. Yeah, the shoulders were poly cap uh, joints, like ball joints, but the shoulders were actually just like pegs. So I had to make that work. But overall, really enjoyed this build and let's go ahead and get into all the entries. Now there's gonna be three winners in total, at first, second, and third place. First place is gonna be winning the Master Grade Clear Age Set. Basically, you're gonna have the Age One and then you could have the uh, Spalo as well as the Titus Clear Parts if you wanna you know, inter swap in between them. Then there's second place prize, which is gonna be the RG High New. And the third place is going to be the Razor and Artemis set, uh, and it's also gonna be the Farzia. So basically a little bundle there for third place. Now let's go through some of the builds that were submitted. Uh, first one's gonna be Onion, which I absolutely love. The, the build was just fantastic. I love the sword, the colors, it, it looks really great. Next one is gonna be uh, on Twitter and Hathaway's Flash. Uh, really great build, the concept's fantastic. I uh, do wish you would have put like paint on it and just you know did a little bit of paint work, but uh, the overall concept looks great. Next one's gonna be Mini Soul. Use the Adele as the base and then use some of the, uh, I think it's the, it's not the Freedom, but uh, it's, it's in my mind, I remember the, the kit, uh, but basically use a lot of parts from that kind of like Freedom custom from the Battle Log series uh, and made a custom from that, so really great overall. Kiryu DK on Twitter uh, basically submitted an Age FX, uh, kind of like more heavy artillery. Uh, definitely looks a lot weathered, so you know, great job on the weathering. Next is gonna be Eclipse on Discord. You know, great Age three using the little sword that comes with that, uh, that new kind of refurbished uh, Exia. I forgot the name of it. It's like a revised Exia or something like that. Uh, but basically using that sword and looks really good with the Exia type parts. Uh, on the arms and legs. And then Jacer with the H3 that has a really nice effect part. Uh, overall love the kind of close quarter combat design that it has. This is DJ with their H2 custom. Uh, you know, nice little spiky boy. I love the, the broad shoulders of the custom kit they gave it. And next is Juni on Twitter. Uh, beautiful Rose and Zulu type of custom build. Uh, overall looks fantastic. I, I absolutely love the design. Uncle Jay with an H2, kind of like a heavy artillery type of style mobile suit. You know, love the colors, the like darkened style of it. Um, I, I just absolutely love that design with the weapon. And next is Kuroshun, I believe. Um, I, I'm probably butchering the name on Discord. Uh, but that H design, it's kind of like a, um, just a heavy, like a heavy armored style, but it has lots of effect parts. Uh, really just love the custom work that was done to this kit. This is Gomo with his H2 that has like more of a GN style to it. Really love the burst effect parts. Uh, overall, the H2 looks fantastic. Next is Winter on Discord that basically used a Massacre in H1 Normal uh, mixed with uh, some Impulse Gundam, I believe, uh, and actually clashes very well. So it, it it's just a beautiful design. Uh, surprised that he, I think, was the only one that used the Master Grade for the entry. Um, but yeah, overall, great design. Next is Retrograde TV on Twitter. Love that age one. It looks really good with those extra colors, like that blue, that like kind of like a teal blue. Love it. Next is Matthew Hildago on Twitter. I, I love his kind of like a 
lobster style age uh, suit. I, I think it's really like clever and it does look like something that would fit in the overall like scope of age uh, because a lot of age suits that came from the, uh, the Galaxy Drive game, uh, some of those designs are pretty wonky and, and just ridiculous. So this really just like fits in there and doesn't really feel like uh, something that would not have been in the age universe. Next is Wits Wolf that basically had a, a stray age one type suit. Overall, like really good design, everything kind of meshes pretty well. Now before we get into the top three, I do want to give an honorable mention. Uh, this one is going to be for A-Link. Uh, his age two blazing, uh, fantastic. The transformation to dragon uh, just honestly looked amazing. Uh, I love the aesthetics of it, all the customizing that you did to it. It was beyond just <clears throat> just gorgeous, to be honest. I, I, I applaud you for how much work you put into it. Um, it this was really really close man um but i mean honestly you was you was right up there for you know best of the best all right guys so the top three here it is uh we're gonna start off with number three uh third place is going to be going to jay on discord uh the hg h1 hyper glanza uh, beautiful design overall. Um, I love the funnel bits. Uh, the paint is just like perfectly added on. Uh, the design, like it definitely looks like something that would have been added on to the Glanza. Um, really just great execution overall. Photography was, you know, pretty good. Um, I, I loved everything about it. So uh, definitely congrats to you, Jay, for third place. Next for second place is going to be uh, Estrella, his um, age one Valkyrie. Uh, this one, I mean, it was neck, neck to neck, to be honest. Like the, these past three suits I just mentioned, they were all like there. They were all gunning for second and third place. So, um, you know, y'all were all you know, equally, you know, amazing in my eyes. I just had to put certain aspects above um, others, but yeah, yours, uh, Valkyrie, uh, that or Estrella, that Valkyrie looks amazing. Colors was, was just great. It looks so seamless. Um, the It looks like a design, a design that definitely would have been in age. And I just love the um, the overall aesthetics of it, to be honest. That more curve, uh, curve type armor. Absolutely loved it. And then for first place, honestly, I hate this person uh, because they have something I don't possess. Um, but I mean, honestly, I have to give it to them because the overall execution was fantastic. Um, the colors, amazing. Um, but this was basically a 3D printed uh, build. And I did mention you can do 3D printing, you can do anything you want, scratch build, uh, whatever tools that you have at your disposal, you can go ahead and um, you, can, you can make them essentially. Uh, but he made an age two Sordia. So it's essentially taking the wares that already exist in the show, but giving it to uh, the age two, which it never is, is not in canon that um, it was even compatible with those wares, which you know is age, age one wares. Uh, but overall, I mean, just gorgeous. Like paint execution was fantastic. Um, I, I, I try to like find any kind of imperfections, uh, but honestly, this thing was just, it was perfection. It, it was on the master grade uh, H2 at that. So it definitely takes a little bit more work um, to get everything just like perfected because you know, it's, it's a bigger, it's a bigger item with more parts. So might be more susceptible to, uh, to errors or paint, you know, chipping or any kind of messing up with the paint. But honestly, it was just flawlessly executed. So uh, definitely love this build and you know, congrats to you for winning first place. You know, just everyone give yourselves a round of applause. Um, everyone just did fantastic in this contest. Um, you know, I, I really am just glad we was able to do something like this, um, you know, on, on our level uh, here. So uh, definitely thank you all. And I would love to do more age contests in the future, to be honest. This is like, you know, the first of many that we will be doing because age just does not stop. And we'll definitely be doing different twists. We don't, it's not gonna be like an age wear constantly. Um, we'll do something else. Maybe we'll do like a vegan only uh, contest or something of the sort. Um, but yeah, first place winner, you're gonna be walking away with that MG uh, you know, age one set. And then um, for second place, you begin the RG high new. Third place, you begin the Razor Artemis and Farzia set. So thank you all for um, you know, entering. Thanks uh, to all the winners for doing just a fantastic job. And uh, for everyone that's been watching, thank you all for the support. Uh, hopefully y'all have a great rest of your year. And then come next year, we're gonna have two major contests 
coming up, as well as a couple of build-offs in the Discord. Uh, but that's it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing y'all next time in the next contest. Bye-bye.